Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Laugh track. Shh. Applause. Don't call me white on <laughs> Catching the bras. Guess what? Due to internet bullying, Tom's here. It worked. <laughs> Y'all bully him so much, he canceled so much to be here. <laughs> like, he just, <laughs> literally, his son is out the window now. Like, oh, we're supposed to go to the park. No, because daddy's being bullied on the internet. And now daddy has to come to Tyson's to defend himself. Welcome, Tom Flies. Welcome. Y'all welcome. Y'all are welcome. Back. Y'all are welcome. Thank you. How does it feel to be slandered like that for hours and days and days online? Weeks. Because we haven't even seen you since the Yeah, I know. I'm still, I'm still feeling the effects of that. Yeah, it's cool. You thank you, right? thank you all for defending my honor, though. Thank you, yeah. I appreciate that. To be honest, brother, I didn't want to. No, no. <laughs> when they started to drag my motherfucking ass, I thought they were saying fire you because of Meg the Stallion comments. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize they were talking about a tweet from 1983. So when <laughs> I realized that, I was like, yikes! But I was already dug in. So yeah, I'm you like, already was Fuck in, you in the tech mode. Yeah, you already in the tech mode. Yeah, you know, I had to, I had to go. call you to slow it down. And I'm then. on. He lying about that. He he's lying about that part. But I um I didn't even know though. You know what I mean? I was more like, oh, they're my friends, whatever. whatever. And stop telling me who they have on my shit. These my niggas. These are not random people I found on the ground in Boston. In Boston. Shout <laughs> to Derek. Derek's here. Get Derek around. <laughs> Woo. Another victim of internet bullying. He won't even show his head shape anymore. But you can hear his voice. He's here. Say something, Derek, so he can hear that you're here. How y'all doing? Boston on dogs. Boston. And you know backpacks here. Phelps. What's happening? What did you do last night, Phelps? Uh, I went out with some friends. My homie DJ. Seen a lot of old friends. Had fun. Did you meet anybody? Nah. No women? Nah. It was all familiar faces in there. It was like a family type vibe, you know. Did you or did you not get shit faced? I didn't. You didn't? No. All right. Well, just wanted to know. People be keeping an eye on Phelps <laughs> and they DM me and tell me what's going on. Oh, do they? Yes. Phelps in the club, like, getting on it. You know how people dance and they get real low, get nasty. And then sometimes the girl get on the ground and the guy get on the ground with her. Mm-hmm. Phelps is one of them. He getting there. He know how to whine and all that. He loves reggae. I've been in the club with him. Can you Ron, imagine bro. this little hips moving? I love footage of it. I stand in the club and smoke. I might two step every once in a while. I've been I've it. been in the club with you before. He fits like <laughs> too. Rhonda's here, of course, too. I just I feel so bad for y'all because y'all get bullied so much, Rhonda, Derek, Tom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. It's so constant. I feel like I should call them off, but I won't. Hold mommy down. I love these people. They love me back. You, you know amp I mean? them up most of the time, actually. Yeah. Just oh, I know. Oh. What God? Where's the demerit thing? Where's the little booklet we had? <laughs> we want a counter. We want to keep a counter, please, because Ron is getting a little out of pocket. I don't think I amp them up. I think that they're brave blacks and they speak how they feel, and I like it. But sometimes they are a little rough. They're brave blacks. A group of brave, brave, brave blacks that watch my the show. The thing is, aggressive, I brave blacks. I don't ever see the uh, the the YouTube people like that, but people from on IG will come back like, "Oh, we love." Like I don't get a lot of the hate where I'm focused at. So I gotta. I, it's hard because I gotta go to YouTube to find hate. That's weird. I'm not gonna do that. So you probably shouldn't look. I just <laughs> wish that people weren't so judgy about what one comment is like. You make such a assumption of a person. That's why the thing with you was like crazy because the stuff yeah. y'all was thinking about time. Phelps <laughs> spot on. He's a horrible person, but Tom, Tom's a dream. A He's a sweetie, and I'm a blonde. Do y'all like my wig? We do. I know I said I wasn't gonna do wigs again, but I say a lot of stuff. I'm an Aquarius. I'm a liar. <sighs> woo woo. Shout out to all Aquarius that like to lie. Um, let's get right into it. Um, I wanted to talk about that lady who took the urn with her father's ashes in it and threw them over the bridge B-I-T-C-H. for TikTok. It pissed Phelps off. We talked about that shit for like 10 minutes and Phelps was saying all <laughs> kind of violent shit that he would do to her if he had a chance. Yeah. Yikes. That was a joke. No DV. That was a joke. No, but what happened was they have some kind of beef. The guy comes home. He listen. He notices the urn is gone or not. His mother's his mother's remains. He he listens, turns it something down. He listens upstairs. She's on the phone telling her daughter, "I threw his mother's ashes out today, That's crazy. over a bridge." On TikTok. 
Wow. And then she did it on TikTok with a song in the background. What was this song? It was something like one fight, all fight, period. With some city girl shit. She was clapping the ashes out of her hand like LeBron. I know that was a joke when you said that part. No, she really did. Yikes. I wonder what happened. Like what they they I'm not saying it's right. I'm just curious. What was that in response of? They, the caption on TikTok was that because he cheated, allegedly. I don't know if that was true or not, but that's what the caption Damn. was. Damn. I don't know. It's a pretty permanent decision. And what her, what her mugshot look like? Well, Rhonda said exactly, just in case you didn't catch in the back, she already did in the most Baltimore accent <laughs> you could possibly have. Basically saying she couldn't violate her anymore because she's already gone. She don't know what happened. Wow. I think it was hurtful to the sun, Rhonda. Yeah, the sun, wow. Rhonda. <laughs> Phelps is pissed. Phelps so pissed if you don't agree in his pistol, you're probably bad. Nah, that's extreme. That. It's fucked up though. I mean, but that's the point. The, my thing is why do y'all tape everything? God damn. Yeah, I was about to say, why why for TikTok? Like what the fuck? I remember back in the day you go to a bitch house, bust the window out with your cousins, wait on that bitch with you and your cousins. You ain't pick your phone up. You know what I mean? You stood out there and you know what we used to do? We used to pick each other out. All right, you get Shaquita because you about 5'9", she about 5'8". And you get Rita because y'all both slow. <laughs> in the ghetto for real, they put the two pregnant bitches together. Y'all bump bellies. We out here. I'm from the hood. Mm -hmm. You know? But we never pulled phones out. We waited like good blacks for the fight. Got that shit on. Usually left with somebody oh, oh, in yeah. the air. You know what I mean? Maybe did it round two next day at the market or wherever we run into each other, the laundromat. Good, clean fighting, couple bites, not too serious. Y'all look us up. Dre looks like he's looking at a shit sandwich. <laughs> it's crazy like as it is. Like a dude roll on Kaiser. You ain't never had a group gang fight? Y'all never got together with your cousins to fight people? Oh, as crazy as it is, it's, it's true. Not, I know you get down. I'm from South Philly. I know his family. Not like set Tom up. Tom and them the, still getting the, together the fight fighting people. That's what to happen, for another like day. That. The fight would just had to jump off. We not we not like planning to go like it was, it's happening right then and there. Or if not, and we catch we see you when we see you. So y'all never ganged up and went to the house for the fight against who? Ninjas, the nigga, whoever you beefing with. Nah, we not we nah we gonna that's we, shocking. It's, it's on it's on site or is we see you when we see you? No, we, bitches is scheduling it like. All right, I got a three o'clock. My hair appointment at four, and I'm getting a frontal. So let's go ahead and get it done at twelve. All right, bitch, bet, bet. Yeah, I will. I've seen women be more cordial in the setup of the fight than they were the whole beef. Like you be arguing, fighting, calling each other names, but when it's time to set up, it's like, all right, cool, meet the park, Kelly Park, no Kelly, the police be there, no good Price Park, okay, Price, all right, boom, Price, yeah. I see you there, ten minutes. Yeah, no, it's true, it's true. Tom, yeah. you only want to relate to me, Boston. Y'all don't have gang fights, family to family. On dogs, we do. On dogs, my nigga. <laughs> And it always start over like the kid, like a football hit, a kid, the car window the, or something oh like that. Oh my it's God, that's the most Phillyest shit. When it's like y'all playing double dutch or somebody oh, do something yeah. and you call the mom, the mom come out and push somebody and then. And then here we go. I've watched my grandmother fight, no cat. No no joke. My grandmother went, whooped her ass. Shout out to you, Monica. You had a black eye for two months. That's the longest I've ever seen a black eye last. Yeah, my grandmother. Then she used the stick. Shout out to Bessie. You watching this, Grandma? I know you still got it. You know, I'm proud of that. See my grandma kick a bitch ass. It's my it's my story. Who else gonna tell it? I'm not ashamed. I believe you. You know, how did we get here, Phelps? Where we at? <laughs> um, Phones out. Yeah. Right. Why do y'all tape the, the girl, everything? The girl with the urn and the ashes. I don't she get was, the she, taping of it. People be trying to go out of their way to hurt feelings, and that's what they get. I think people have a own strong. Like they try I, the internet. You can. It's easy to use the internet to embarrass people. So people. That's what people try to do. What I notice now, for sure, in this that I'm in now, fame is for sure a drug. Yeah, like that hopefully. fame, mm -hmm. or I hate using clout because it just doesn't feel good coming out of my mouth. But hey, that yo. that whole vibe of just wanting to be famous. I think it's people that literally want fame and they don't even want no fucking money. Mm -hmm. They just want that notoriety or fame, and that's why. I think that majority of people don't understand the difference between infamy and fame. Because it's like you can be famous or you can be infamous. Uh -huh. Those are two different things. Mm -hmm. Because it's like you would think, but then it gets, the lines get blurred. Like 
you possibly getting fucked on tape and then you become like the biggest influencer in the fucking world. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That would be more infamous, but it's not. It's fame. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it's all about the days and the times, but you, Shaquita, are not Kim K. And I wouldn't try it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That shit's permanent. I think that's another thing y'all don't realize. Those clips, those sound bites or whatever that goes viral of you doing whatever, it never goes away. It's never really scrubbed offline unless yeah, you got yeah. them kind of connections to scrub shit offline. You know no, what I mean? No, that, that, that shit exists every forever. Well, it's baby girl got locked up. She got charged with abuse of a corpse. I don't really, I'm not pro jail, but it's like, girl, why would you do that to Miss Bernadette? She got to go think about what she did at least. Sidebar, no disrespect. Miss Bernadette was probably a bitch. Let me be real. She probably was a nasty person. There's no way she was sweet. She wouldn't have did it. Mama she didn't know man. her. That's the whole point. Uh, they ain't gonna make up his own details. <laughs> like she didn't know. You don't know they was getting 15 years. She could have gave Miss Burnett a kidney some years ago. Guess who don't know? Phelps. You know? But they ain't had no kids together. I told you the story hits him hard. He hates that that lady did that and he wants her to. Let me ask you this, Phelps. You think she deserved jail time? Or you think like if her getting locked up, you think it's a jail time thing or just some money? Jail time thing or money? Or money. Like, what do you think kind of punishment would suit she, that? She need to go sit somewhere. I wouldn't say jail, maybe the mental halfway. Yeah, because that's kind of crazy. She got to go sit somewhere, though. The fact that she put it on TikTok fucks with me. That's she, definitely a Twitter post, dummy. That's for Twitter. <laughs> I'm surprised mm-hmm. TikTok let that rock. Because she really like... Because you know sometimes in the ashes, it'll be like lumpy parts. Mm-hmm. So she had to like... She was clapping them shits. It was, it was in her... like. Phil so said she went like this. Like the people in the Olympics do. Wow, well, yeah, she <laughs> crazy. You know those people. Jump. What's that, Dre? The jump stick thing, Olympics. They use chalk for everything in the Olympics. <laughs> shot put, pole vault. Yeah, what else? Phelps Next. said she should deserves the death penalty. Um, serious note. This is horrible, horrible. It's another school shooting. Like it's like I don't. I hate to talk about the bummers and all that. And I swear. Some of that stuff bothers me so much I can't even watch. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I got the guy that went to the supermarket in um, upstate New York. Somebody sent me that video because he had like a GoPro on him. Mm-hmm. So I watched that shit up close and I didn't even realize what it was until like almost at the end. And it was it looked like a video game. That's how it looks. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? You could tell he plays video games or whatever. Um, for me as a mom... Just here in the elementary, them kids get mowed in. Like, that's just disgusting. And, and, and the part that, that bothers me probably the most about it is when you think about it, that it's all a monetary thing. It's all about money. Like, it's a way that we can slow that thing down, and we just won't. It turned political. Like, we, we, ju- we just won't change the laws on certain shit. It's just it's ridiculous. Like, something as simple as making sure you have mental health clearance before you get guns, making sure you don't have a manifesto before you buy 15 AK-47. It's just ridiculous. And then it's, like, so pussy because they're the most innocent motherfuckers. Like, they don't even know how to run or whatever. I don't care how many drills they do. They're too young to understand that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So just as a mom, it's like, dog, these kids ain't safe in school. Like, Like, it's like... I mean, honestly, I've been blessed with this, what I do for a living, and it it might end up being homeschool for them or a school that I'm paying for that has 24-hour cameras and whatever. But what about all the moms and my family members that can't afford stuff like that and they got to just send their kids to public school? And it's just as simple as this fucking bully or whatever you want to call him picking a school to go do that to. Yeah. I think we need armed guards in the schools. I think it's just a known, it's just what it is. We need metal detectors. Every door needs to be locked. You need to, it needs to be hard to get into the school, period. Mm -hmm. It needs to not be such an easiest thing to get into school. And I would say, I would say that because I don't think those gun laws are going to change. I don't know if a lot of y'all understand the kind of power that the NRA have, the National Rifle Association, is that is it? Yeah. Um, the, the type of lobbying they do, how many politicians they own, they're mm-hmm. not changing those laws. They're not. And they don't give a fuck because their kids go to schools that, that don't happen in, mm-hmm. period. So um, when you look at it like that, we just got to do more realistic things, which as far as maybe push for you know, armed guards or police at the school or whatever. But even with that, these niggas act like pussies. I think that was the big yeah. thing about this story that the cops were scared to go in. They went, let me. Like, they I they cannot went in and got their kids, when I tell you I'm going in right? guns blazing. Like, I'm, well, I don't give a fuck who's standing there. I'm getting in this motherfucking did they, school. Did they really rescue just their kids and then come back out and then 
It's so many different stories. It was conflicting stories, yeah. I don't even. It was like a lot of conflicting. My stories. My whole thing is, you an officer, ain't it? Ain't you supposed to put your life on the line in them situations? That's what I thought. But the, but I, what I'm gonna say at once, I'm they saying, take oaths and all of that. Like I'm, you know, like ain't that breaking the oath? Like something. I don't know. This is my thing. I am a firm believer, and and it took me a long time to get here. The defund the police thing is necessary. Now, at first, I used to say in my head, it's impossible, we can't do that, whatever, but it needs to happen, okay, for some reasons. Number one, as a black person in this country, country, um, racist, racist and racist organizations like the Klan and the, uh, the what are they, uh, small white, bald head, white boys, women heads. You know you suck your head down all the way till it's white. Skin. Skin. Skinheads, those <laughs> niggas. Um, those... <laughs> Uh, groups right they've intro- infiltrated the police meaning yeah. 70s 80s 90s they're training these niggas to train their kids to get these jobs so when you think of it in that way we talking about probation officers judges cops whatever they're in these fucking groups boom that's the first problem second problem the cops have this brotherhood that's very similar to gang banging where you don't tell on each other so we all cops in here right and clearly Derek's the dirtiest cop we we can't tell on him, you know what I mean? Because they'll put shit in our lockers mm, yeah. or dildos or whatever. There's like this whole secrecy thing. So we got that. Was it a blue coated silence? Or something? Yeah, that's what they call it. A blue coat. They, they, them niggas is just thugs. But regardless of what, it's not even an environment for change because the motherfucker you are reporting to might be down with the get down too. Mm-hmm. So that's why they use something so extreme as defund the police because what else are you going to do other than take it completely apart and re-put it together? The police are slave catchers. They're the same motherfuckers they sent out to get us after slavery, you know, during slavery when we ran away and then shortly after slavery when they made big laws, huge laws like no loitering. So you're released in Virginia. You don't know where the fuck you are, where your family is. And the first law that's huge in the land is no loitering. Mm-hmm. For a motherfucker don't even know where he at. They're slave catchers. So mm-hmm. we to, just as a black person, that's why we have to start over. On top of that, they need to vet the police more. It needs to be harder to become a police officer. You can get a job at police, at, you know, you know, with the Philadelphia police faster than you can get a job, yeah. you know, a fed job as a fucking librarian. You know, or a fucking, I mean, literally, I remember we had to take, remember NBNA back in the day in Delaware, everybody used to work there. That was three interviews. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just, it, it it's doesn't no, make any sense how easy it is to become a cop. And then on top of that, they're not paid enough. That's a job you need to be paid well. That's a job where you need to have time off. You need to be able to have to go to burnout courses. They need to be sending these niggas to Sweden. They swimming in fountains, getting time off because that's a burnout job. Then you might have a chance of having a well-rounded person that will really put his life on the line, put himself in front of other people. Mm-hmm. Other than that, you got a bunch of pussies looking for a job. Mm-hmm. That's what the police are. A bunch of bitch ass niggas that need jobs. What do you think about people policing areas that they don't live in? Okay, great. DeAndre's always he always kills y'all on the mic. Well, let me get something to drink. Wet my whistle. I got a lot to say about this one. Um, I remember we from North Philly originally. I remember sitting on 16th and Carmel in North Philly. That is the fucking trench house. Okay. Um and at the time, they would make the rookies do the walkthroughs. So they walking through, like four or five guys, and uh, they got the guy that's from there. So you know he's from there because his shirt too small, his muscles real big, he got tats everywhere. You know what I mean? Um, and the, the youngest one, he looked so afraid. Like it was just, he looked so fucking scared. And every time, anytime anything happened, like anything, because we, we, we walked past so much, I was watching him. You know, you bore, you sit on the corner, nothing to do. Every time something happened, he would put his hand right here. He would just, just by nature, because he's scared. Um, I feel like that is a recipe for disaster, doesn't If I am Billy Joe from the suburbs, right? And let's say I'm from a suburb that's mostly white. I don't even see a lot of black people. Mm-hmm. It's not a lot of black people in my high school, not a lot of black people on my football team or whatever. Mm-hmm. My first introduction of black people can't be in this low income, impoverished, violent ass neighborhood. That's not a that's not a good idea. Not to mention, just culturally, two niggas on the corner discussing a basketball game to a motherfucker that don't know niggas. That look like a fight. Like a fight, yeah. Nigga, I told you it was a triple double, nigga. I told you to give me my 20. That looks like they're gonna do something yeah. to each other. 
That's scary for a motherfucker that don't. Where he from? They say, "Hey, you catch that hockey game?" No, <laughs> I fucking love it. What a boat you on? Let's be fair. And I think that sometimes we get so caught up in, um, you know, like bad. Not even bashing them. You telling the truth, but let's be realistic. What the fuck do you expect this motherfucker to do other than shoot a nigga? I'm scared to death. I just want to make it home. I'm scared as fuck. And culturally, I don't know the lingo. I don't know the body language. I don't know how this, how shit works. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So for sure, absolutely, positively, I don't think you should be allowed to police a neighborhood unless you have some kind of proof of spending time there. In some way, whether you went to school, you had a close friend, you did some volunteering. If not, no, you shouldn't be allowed. And I think that people from the ghetto on the other end, they should police the neighborhoods that they're used to. Even mm -hmm. if it's not their neighborhood, he's from blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're going to have him, blah, 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 because he knows that city, you that city life. It, yes. Great question. I think it's unfair. I think it's a recipe for disaster. And I think that's why we see so much pussy shit like the girl that just got shot pregnant with her hands up. Mm -hmm. Pregnant with her hands up. Am I excusing that? No, but let's be for real. Let's be serious. Like, what the fuck we expect? He's a pussy. He's soft. Not to mention a lot of these people get into these jobs because they want to feel tough. They want to feel yeah. like... Authority. Ain't nobody scared of you. Motherfuckers used to literally smash your head into your locker every day. Bang! Have a good day, Britain. Bang! Yeah. You know what I mean? Now you pulling niggas over like me because my light out. You know, brother? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate the bully. I, I don't fuck with him. You know? I'm with you. I don't fuck with them. I'm with you. I know. And now you know what? I'm one of them niggas that I'm very like. I turn. I was a mess. I was a rogan down the mess. I was going down ninety five south. I was a, didn't know my signal wasn't on. <laughs> I don't back talk or nothing. Man, I'll be in the ass. Oh, could you imagine? Phelps is so. Phelps is a special one. I'm not one of them. I'm very like, yes, officer. Here's my ID. I'm gonna be real. I got a ticket. I got a warrant. I have a warrant. I'm, I'm one of them. Like, I'll tell you, I, I'm on it. I tell a cop quick, nigga, you only got 60 college credits. Get fuck out my face. Oh, have you ever been put in one of these? Yeah. When they hold you like that, and they drag you slowly. Yeah, I done, been, the car. I done been hit with the billy club and all that. You need a little pat, pat. <laughs> you need a little pat, pat. No, I give them what they looking for because they, they want their cock sucked. That's just my experience, and I don't have a problem doing that. <laughs> it does not bother me to act like a damn zoo, dumbass, dippy-ass bitch to get up out of this situation alive. I don't give a fuck. Oh, my God, my light's running on. I don't know what I did. Yeah, I'm not going to. You know I, what I mean? I'm I not try bucking. to avoid them, I mean, but once but once they, they, all right, now, you feel me? We here now. The goal is to make it home. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you shut the fuck up when they come. Um, how did we get here? We <laughs> talking about the school shooting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know the ins and outs exactly what happened. I just know that they're being critiqued for how they deal with the situation. Yeah. And I also know that the shooter is healthy as a fucking ox. Yep. Why don't y'all ever beat them up? Just to make us feel better a little bit. You know what I mean? Whoop his ass. You know, he got the nice, he got his the- His hair still look good and everything. high school graduate yeah. um, mug shot. On the, you the know. buffalo shooter, yeah. Because the other guy was murdered, or did he kill himself? He was murdered. Yeah. The police, yeah. the police shot the police him. They, they, shot killed, the they killed the Mexican one? Yes. Mexican. And they made him look bad in the media, everything. They made sure he ain't- I have another idea. Y'all want to hear it? Um- it's so, you know, they had those copycats. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Yeah. So I think that it would be a good practice for now on whenever we have mass shooting serial killings that we purposely never show their faces or say their names. Ever. Because they get so much media coverage when you're in the process of doing it. That's your goal. Yeah. So imagine if we just kept on never showing them. You never know who do it. You can't copy it. Now, am I, is it going to change the numbers? Who knows? I don't know. But that living in infamy is the goal. He wants to be just us to be talking about it right now. That's the whole point. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it, should, it would be a good practice to not pick, photo them or not post them. That's a media thing, though. Or not. Yeah. For sure, it's a media thing. But it can turn into a legal thing where they do that. You do a mass shooting, and it's illegal to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Show these motherfuckers. I, I seen they was like, uh, they, they torn between like trying to deflect as like if it's like a mental illness or it's like a gun control problem. And they was trying to say, like, it's more so mental illness or mental problems because the guy was broke and he came up poor and poverty. It's a race problem. Race it, and money problem. 
But it's like, I've been poor my whole life, nigga. I ain't never want to shoot no schools up. It's a gun thing. That's it. And it's a real simple fix. It's, I mean, it's not, it wouldn't be fixed completely, but it just make it harder to get a big ass automatic yeah, weapon. Yeah, yeah. It ain't that difficult. Like, whatever. Um, But yeah, shout out, you know, send love and prayers to all them people Definitely. and their parents, yeah. including the Buffalo. I don't think I ever spoke about the Buffalo. And I hope you don't think I don't speak about it because I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's just a bummer. And I don't want to bum me out or y'all out, but did, that's what's going on now. And talk to your fucking kids about what to do in these situations because allegedly, I don't know if it's a rumor or is it true, but allegedly one of those kids did lay there and put blood on themselves. Yeah, somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. tagged you in that thing and was like, yeah. Didn't I tell Smush to put, put that boy's <laughs> blood on there like that? She made it out. She lived to tell about it. Talk to your children about what if. And, you know, you do that shit at home. You got to teach them kids. You know what I mean? Don't just assume that those drills, because for the love of God, our fire drills were oh horrible. Oh, my God. The tornado <laughs> drill. Next to the hot-ass <laughs> building. Holding on to oh that hot-ass rail up, right or, there. Or and walk stand up, walk, there. Don't you move. Walk up the street to the oh, park. Did you see the tornado drill where we got to go to the locker and turn around and face the... Oh, no. We too old for that nigga. They ain't had that. Yeah, we <laughs> That we shit is the... We had regular that fire stop in the tornado. We just had fire drills, and they were like... Nothing safe about them. Stay in one line real tight, real close, and stay real close to the school. Yeah, it's the dumbest in the world. Whatever. Um, happy Pride, niggas. Woo, woo. Shout out to them. Woo, woo, mm. woo, woo. Y'all ain't nothing to say about Pride? I didn't know if we clapped or not. I was going to clap. I just said shout out I to them. I did a shoulder shimmy. What are you going to do? It is, um, I'm going to clap. Shout out to... Shout out to them. Enjoy, my lesbian homies. I love y'all. Yeah. You feel me? And our homosexual homies. Yeah, yeah, them too. I, did, I got. Them. Yes, yes. We love all the gays here. Don't call like white racist, girl show. You count them all. We <laughs> love the gays, and the gays love me. Mm-hmm. Um, listen. Um, I thought that it was funny, real fast, because I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about this lady. But I am a fan. I'm a fan of Nene Links. Okay. Nene Links is getting sued by her um by this girl because she for fucking her man. Cause you could do that now. What? Wait, what? You, can, what? you could do. You could sue. Nene Leaks nigga X is suing for hundred thousand dollars because the bitch broke up a happy home. But it's so funny because close your legs to marry men. Close your legs to marry men. So wait, Nene Leaks is suing or doing like or getting sued? No, Nene Leaks new nigga. Uh huh. Ex wife. Ex wife said she she yes like, oh. is suing for hundred thousand dollars. But Telling Kim Zosiak, Kim Zosiak was like the tackiest white woman I ever saw in my whole life, and she's still super tacky. Wow. Yeah. She used to wear real bad wigs, like synthetic, remember? So Nene Lee. She's a wild white bitch. Yep, Sheree pulled that shit. Sheree cocked that bitch to love, didn't she? Nobody ever two piece Kim. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Yeah. No, but I just thought it was, you know, close your legs to married men. That's when she had that underbite. That's back in the day, Nene, because Nene looked good with a T. Okay. Yeah, she going outside. Who, Nene? No, not the other girl. Like, how you... Oh, with the lawsuit? Yeah. Unless she win, motherfucker. <laughs> not, I'm filing some shit she a no, Is she a nobody? Whoa, that's mean. <laughs> is she not a celebrity? Yes, she's not a celebrity. I mean, you said 100000 I don't know. I mean, why was this nigga worth <laughs> Nigga, ain't the ain't the lawyer well, ain't the, the lawyer gonna run you twenty third like I don't know, but how much is the nigga worth? Because if we doing by the dick, she probably should have sued for thirty seven thousand. You know these niggas ain't got good dick, child. The dick is piss par at best. How would girl you stay with Ernest? I was the dick girl was okay. Dick be horrible. That's the worst. You know how you be looking forward to dick for the longest you so excited about it and you get there and it's like, oh my God, you motherfucker. I didn't wax this pussy and washed it. Wax and wash and wax and wash. You know what I mean? Greased it. I did a lot to get here. I think that's why. Two minutes? That's my theory behind women and wanting niggas to wear these short shorts. The Gucci daddy shorts? I don't call them that, but. That's what they're called. I feel like. Y'all, y'all been so disappointed and y'all so freaked out that y'all want to see what a nigga, like y'all want to come outside and see a nigga dick. Yes. That's crazy. First of all, <laughs> damn, Rhonda almost like the Holy Ghost. Cause you was ready to fight <laughs> me on <laughs> it. Cause she would thank you, Rhonda, cause she was ready to fight me on it. Go ahead and say what you was going to say. It's not so much about the hoochie daddy shorts, but sometimes when you just really want to know, like I want to make sure, like 
references uh, something that's i don't want to waste my coochie as i'm walking up the Rhonda, elevator i don't know they and then, you know out. what my sisters They've been disappointed. that have fell victim to them big ass man dingo dicks it's a scam okay they are almost always i don't know about that part you know why because if you don't know how to work a big dick it's painful period small dick is like worst thing is it sucked, but you can barely feel it shit anyway. He just up there doing his business. Damn. You know what I mean? Bad dick is like painful and is corny. I don't know. Some of the best dick I ever had in my life has been from small ones. And I am convinced it is not the size of the boat, it's the motion of ocean. And I don't care about your gray shorts or your hoochie daddy shorts. I want to see how you wave them hips on the dance floor. Phelps got on hoochie daddy shorts. No, 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 mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Because this is my experience. If you can dance, you can fuck. If I stand up, if I stand up, these come down on my Get knees. Get that nigga pop locking and drop. And that's the one you want. The one that's doing. Rhonda, these the, the come down on my knees if I stand up. At, at nine o'clock. And my, and my drawers ain't hips. coming out. <laughs> Shaking that shit. Boy, I almost got one of them shake that shit niggas. Shh, they 18. Shut your mouth. I want me a nigga. <laughs> they getting a check. What? Mm -hmm. It's the hips. Listen, like I was saying, that's that's what y'all doing. You definitely have a hoochie daddy shorts and your legs are greasy. Nah, if I stand up, these, co me these come down to my knees. If you don't want to talk to uh, that's your knees the out. It's 95 Listen, degrees also. If these was Hoochie Daddy shorts and I was sitting down, them shits would be back here. It's crazy. A guy that brings up the Hoochie Daddy subject has on Hoochie Daddy shorts. I really don't. Woo. Look at so your, you mean look to at, tell me all of them girls, and he point, he point over here? He pointing over here? Yeah, because oh, okay. your thighs is all the way out. Oh, <laughs> he said thighs. Cut this shit out. <laughs> Watch it, motherfucker. Anyway, what I was saying was... um. I don't know. I don't know if y'all waiting for like the head of the penis to slide out. They are. If I was that man, I wouldn't even wear drawers with my hoochie daddy. I'd just be flopping my thing oh, around. Man. What? We not doing that. Huh? Can't do that. Y'all lucky I ain't a nigga. <laughs> y'all lucky. That's I mean, uncomfortable. Pussy. And then you and then you got all the time. And then this is the Everybody whole Everybody can get it. This the whole thing. You, know, you go out, you got time, worry. Right? About, like it's my first time. Niggas is going out thinking they're impressing Jones, and 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 man's in the corner like is looking that? at you. You think it's like that? You like that girl? She ignores you like because that. she know what I'm saying. She think it's like that. You though. like that? Women, women don't know who we go through. Yeah, but y all, y all, pussy. Y'all think it's that easy? Niggas is out here going to be to wearing Apple, me, little girl. shorts for the bitches, and then when, when zesty man in the corner is looking at him the whole time. I really don't. All right. Get the ruler out and measure the motherfuckers. They, that's a five inch short. If I stand up, these is at my knees. He keeps saying, okay, well, let's just, we'll agree to this. <laughs> you have on hoochie daddy if shorts I had, as long as you're sitting. Right now, you, you have hoochie daddies. When you stand, they're no longer hoochie daddies. Go. All right. Verdict out. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> um, We running out of time um, a little bit, guys. Um, If I could wear them. I, I'm not going to talk about any of that shit. Juneteenth is coming. Um, Black party fish fries Yeah whatever Just don't celebrate July 4th niggas Let's try to stick together on this And don't fall for the white man truck tricks Cause you know Walmart came out with a Juneteenth ice cream, ice cream. Mm -hmm. They took it off They pulled it, they it did. What the You know what the flavor was Collard greens and pain <laughs> Cause the black experience sucks Collard greens and pain <laughs> oh, so, it, uh, so it wasn't watermelon Like oh, that was a joke Time. Leave the jokes up to me. Let I me go was, to, I seen um, the joke on Twitter. Let me go to the. <laughs> do I have the voicemail? <laughs> Meme reference. I don't think I have it. Okay, <laughs> I gotta I stop that, right? Is this voicemail for this? Okay. All right. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? All right. What's going on, Mona? All right, boom. This one really for Phelps. All right. All time flies or whatever, but you know, I want you to be back. What do you say? So, boom. Um, just try to listen, because the first thing he says is this is for Tom Flies or Phelps. And okay. it's loud as it go. That's whatever, but you know, I want you to be back on the truth. So, boom. Um, I got a friend, you know what I'm saying? I had caught him stealing red-handed. Feel me? It's undeniable. I got the evidence of everything. I actually caught him on camera, right? Um, with that being said, after I confronted it, you know, we had a talk. He paid back double plus what he stole. You feel me? So he paid me double plus what he stole. Now, I still am looking at him funny. 
so in my eyes, it's like, can I ever really trust him? Nigga, God? speed it up, <laughs> motherfucker. Wait. Damn, wait, wait. he that's said, that's first of all, First of all, wait, what happened? No, though? that's the end of it because I said that's the end. We can talk about it on the ride home. Was he, was he in the um the, the bottom line? First of all, what the fuck you mean? It's really for Tom and Phelps. Like nigga, what the fuck? Right. He said he caught his friend stealing red handed. It's like what it, kind yeah. of shit is that? Mm-hmm. And you need to clear your throat. And you need to eat better because you fat. <laughs> I can tell you got high blood pressure. It's a big guy. That's a big fat ass guy. <laughs> That's really for Tom and Phelps. Like, what the fuck? Is this the Tom and Phelps show, nigga? <laughs> Shout out to that guy. Anyway. Shout out to my dog, man. Like, what the fuck is wrong? Oh, this really, excuse me, bitch. This is really for Phelps and him. <laughs> you press play, but you go ahead and pass it to the brothers. I need somebody with some sense. He said it's for you, too, though. He said it. He was like, it's for you, too. Crusty ass voice. Long, drawn out ass message. Basically, he got stole from and he caught the guy red handed. and the guy paid him back plus, plus double, double. Uh-huh. but he's still looking at him sideways. Can he ever fully trace, chase, um, trust him? And I think the reason why he said, can he fully trust him again? Because, huh? Right. But I think the reason why he's so so much um so much emphasis on can I really trust him again because he got paid double and paid back so mm-hmm. that's the thing that supposedly makes it stupid ass question. Go ahead, you have answers. I don't give a fuck about it. none of that shit, nigga. If I gotta look over my thank you, and I will holler at you in the next like because if I can't be comfortable around you, I don't. I can't be around you. I don't. You feel me? So is there a way to fix that though? Is that a fixable thing? No, nah. nah I nah, feel like me. if if they was younger, but we grown, like we Clearly grown. That ass, she has voice. Ass <laughs> yeah, he at least thirty seven, <laughs> but no, it, it's that's it with me. I don't even. Mm-mm. Can you give it the time? And felt like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, bro, you got cut cut your ties with that. Ain't yeah. even, no, they ain't even worth. He'll do it again. Don't let don't don't let that fool you. First of all, you call him red handed. Motherfucker, you can't even be like, "Oh, I'm glad you told," because he got caught. So yeah. imagine how many times he just stole out your fries out the fry bag. Yeah, chubby. Yeah, I don't like him. <laughs> we a part of the show. I mean, y'all a part of the show, but ain't no let me speak to Phelps and all that. Like we ain't doing that. The fuck. Women do it, she get mad. Niggas do it, she get mad. She get mad. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. <laughs> no, I, that just shows you how people are so obsessed over money. Him paying double does not have no, anything yeah, to do with Yeah, that don't got nothing to do you with You forgive him or whatever. And man. I think that you forgive people for yourself so you can feel better. You don't carry around hate. But what the fuck would you ever be around a thief for? Yeah. Never. That's like, like I've literally been stolen from. Like, I've had a friend steal something from me that was worth $10, and I never forgot it. Yeah. And we are cool. Facts. I still love them, but I don't Same. put them in a position to steal from me, and I do not trust them. No. I can't. And it happened literally 20 years ago, 10 years ago, something like that. I'm the same way. Because you don't steal. That's just something you don't do. That, but exactly. most people can. Most people, most people will. That's why you see perfect example. Horrible things happen to people. What do they do? They settle out of court for money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They settle out of court for money. So, so what's the difference between that and like, say somebody people who stay when somebody cheat is somebody that you cared about hurt you. Yeah. So you want to make excuses so that you can stay in that relationship in a sense, basically. Yes. So I don't think it's as easy. He wants that, but that was his homeboy probably. Yeah. And it's like, damn, you just hurt me, but my life, like you've always been in my life, like that, that can be tough. But the issue for me is the emphasis, the emphasis that he puts on the pay, yeah. paying back double. Yeah, the money he says that more than once. The money not fixing He puts that. it back and then he pays it back double. He put so to me, that's what's important to him. That mm-hmm. he put the money back. That's stupid because he got caught. It's not mm-hmm. the same thing. Do you still give somebody the same? Pop pets on the back for admitting to something they got caught doing. Yeah. Versus somebody just admitting to something. It'd have been different if he took the money and be like, yo, bro, I took this my fault and I brought yeah. you this back. You feel like that's I a had to catch you different... in order for you to exactly. pay me back. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, no, bro. We got we ain't you know, we ain't doing that. What you saying, Derek? I was gonna say if a guy cheats on a girl, can he pay his way back to her <laughs> happiness? Motherfucking right. <laughs> Motherfucking right. I think you already do that. It is a right. I literally know people personally that Every time they do, they break up the makeup thing. She gets amazing gifts every time. And honestly, does it suffice in your in your in your head? For me or for her? Because clearly, for her, it works. For you, but for me, 
Probably not. No, cheating to me at this age feels so disloyal. Like it just feel yeah. like you a snake. You told that bitch my business. I'm famous. You know what I mean? Like motherfuckers know me. Yeah. I don't. It's it just yeah. feel disloyal, bro. And it's like it's levels of cheating, but it's like for the most part, it just feels like I can't trust you for like stealing. It feels like that to me, cause it's, I'm a simple bitch. Like you don't have to do it like that. You know what I mean? You want a little strange? Talk to me about that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I be wanting strange myself. Only thing better than dick is new dick. That's our sin. Who? That's mine. Do I have a DM? <laughs> I made that up. Oh God, you motherfuckers! Excuse me. Like me um, that's always been a thing. She heard it. Hey, how are you? My name is. I don't know this. Okay, this lady. Okay, hey, how are you? I've gotten this DM probably six times. She always deletes them and rewrites them. She doesn't know I'm opening them that I can see them. <laughs> hey, my name is Blaine. This is so embarrassing. These lines change a lot. Um, most humiliating thing I've ever had to do in my life. But I'm at the end of the world. I'll go to the end of the world for my girls. Can you please help me with twenty dollars so I can feed my babies? I'm a single mom with two daughters. Who are blank and blank. I'm struggling terribly financially, physically, emotionally, and even so mentally. Now, I could give you the same girl message tweaked a bit, but it's always $20, 30 $40. Uh, I have a very rare disease called blah, blah, blah. I can't even raise my arms or my legs. I'm unable to walk. Here's my cash app. Da, da, da. <laughs> this, you see the length? It's like this all the time as far as length. But that's what changes. It's usually for the kids, but what it exactly is for as far as money, hotel for the night, whatever. I want to let you know, I am never sending you no money, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't sending you a fucking dollar. And let me let you know something else. I've had niggas come to me and say, yo, I'm fucked up. I need pampers and backwoods. And I've sent $35 for pampers and backwoods. Because you can tell when somebody be honest Keeping it a with bean. you. I've also had niggas come back and give me my money back on payday like they said they was. Mm -hmm. I have sent money. I wouldn't recommend you ask a bitch like me. Especially with these sob stories. Bitch, I've been yeah. there. When I first started going viral, we was fucked up. And I would go live, pay my cash app, get pizza money, get off live, get the pizza, go back on live after I order my kids pizza. True story. Facts. Better figure that shit out. It's 2022, baby girl. And I don't feel bad for you. You got that. I got ADD, OPP, uh, RACE. I'm black and I got varicose veins. <laughs> you know how hard it is to have varicose veins when you're a comedian, Rhonda? We could get you some socks. <laughs> hey, <him. laughs> I hate him so much sometimes. Yeah, I'm not sending you no money, though. And I don't feel bad. And I don't give a fuck. And it bothers me that your message is tweaked and that you unsend it and send it all the time. And I read it, girl. I read it. Different struggle. I read it, girl. I just don't have that in me. My mother used to tell me, everybody has a tale of woe, Demona. Meaning yeah, we all got to struggle everybody. in a different way. And do we need help? Yes. But I really find it hard to believe that you have to go this, to this point where you're DMing people that you think got a couple dollars for money. I ain't got it. Yeah. I ain't got I couldn't even get HD lace this week. Facts. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm helping you. I ain't, I'm I'm with so you. You don't like my ladies. No. I, I know. I, I get what he I mean. hate when Dre laughs at those jokes. I'm trying. I'm going to get out of here before I'm I bust this motherfucker in his You manifesting anything? Um, I manifesting Phelps getting a little control over himself. What you for real, because he don't know what to say. I don't. Derek was a bit quiet, but I would be quiet myself. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Derek. Derek, yeah, I'm a big bro. Derek is a comedian. Y'all need to check my nigga out. This is black owned company. I manifested all the black businesses to do really well. All the black entrepreneurs to keep pushing, keep hustling, keep on trying, keep on keeping on. And hopefully somebody send this bitch to Dallas. All right? All right. Thank you.